beautiful beings of the universe, welcome to now. Do not believe in everything that your mind says. So if sometimes you wake up in the morning and your body says that, I'm not feeling so well, I'm feeling weak. Just try and for once, at least just do this experiment for once, wherein you do not believe what your mind is saying to you. And you utilize that same energy of weakness into the energy of power. And how you do that is by not directly going to grab that medicine, that paracetamol, but rather you go about doing your work normally as you would. And you might feel that you are dragging your body, but you go through it because then you feel that, oh, I could still do this. But if you, you just grow too weak by this thought, this thought is actually making you weaker. So do not believe your thought when it says, I'm not feeling well. Rather use the same energy to be more strong. Go and do your exercise and eat something healthy. And that way you would feel uh, more stronger in your body. And this thing not, not just applies to your physical body. It applies to a lot of other things as well, like the limitations that we have brought about ourselves in our own minds. So if you want to... Uh, say you have a certain sort of limitation that you have set for yourself and you are struggling to overcome that it's just about starting that thing just about giving it a go and you will realize that the most difficult thing is to start one thing because we have got so much of limitations in our mind and we are actually so much self-loathing we do not like ourselves so that is the most important thing where you want to start just to start and you might find yourself, I'm not able to start. So do not beat yourself against because you're not able to start. Be with yourself and have some patience. When the right time comes, you would automatically start. And then you would see that you have created... It's a slow process, okay? So it's like a child learning the letters, learning numbers. So a child does not immediately know 1 to 100. The child learns gradually through slow practice. And same is our case, though we are adults, and uh, we might want to just have everything right here, right now. But we need to have patience with our own selves. And if we can have patience with our own self, we would be at a much better state of peace and... And we would love ourselves more. Because the reason we do not love ourselves is because we say that I don't know this. And I feel like a fool. I feel so weak. I do not feel intelligent. So the answer is in the knowing. So how you get from unknowing to knowing is by starting. You just do that. It's just about repetition. And we keep on doing that. For example, if you do not know how to make uh, something and you go about trying that every single day, step by step. And once you do that, then the doors are open for you. So have a great day, my friend. See you in the next one. Bye for now.